And one of the new capabilities answers the question here, which you see on the slide, because most of data generated at the edge from sensors comes actually in the form of streams or messages. So you will ask, okay, how do I now process this data coming from my rotating machine or from my sensors locally at the edge, and particularly knowing the constraints that you have at the edge devices? You don't have infinite compute and storage, so what do I do? And that's why we launched a stream manager for IoT Greengrass, which helps you tackle exactly those problems. You can set policies what to do with your streams on an individual stream basis if your local memory runs out of space. What do I do? Do I do a ring buffer? Do I make first in, first out? You define that, stream manager does the rest. Then, if connectivity gets on and off again, which of my data that I process locally at the edge would I like to upload first? Most likely the process data. And when I have, let's say, lower connectivity, maybe then I can wait for some of my raw data. And last but not least, you want to upload all of this most likely into something like Kinesis in the edge, um, from, from the edge to the cloud, or in AWS IoT Analytics. That's all what the stream manager does for you. And one of the customers of ours who was the first to actually use Greengrass in Gov Cloud was Lockheed Martin, which you can see on the slides. And they built their local technology based on AWS IoT Greengrass. And they are, want now to use the stream manager for exactly that purpose, of streaming all of this information coming from the different facilities into their cloud backend so that they can optimize the local processes. And believe it or not, do things as simple as reducing paper waste when you have manual processes, because now that you can get all of this information in one place, you don't have to do this anymore.